Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here to start a new campaign in Old World Blues A to Z playing as Blackfoot. Kind of the pre one of the precursors to uh, the, the Legion kind of formed, but but if you want to talk about Canyon Runner or read about him, please go right ahead. Uh, if you want to read about the, the Tribal Nation, as well as the remnants of the Legion, is where the Legion first started, so. Uh, but we got Origins of the Gang, a generic focus tree, unfortunately, for now. Formed in blood and gore most of the time, but gangs certainly aren't always alike. Where were we before we formed? Old world criminals running the gauntlet long before anyone else did? Former travel seeking up arms for profit and fun? Or vault dwellers broken by experiments and wanting nothing more than to make the wasteland suffer? Um, so everyone, man, everyone's got a good bloody story. Every hat pent gang or wannabe conquerors. But between you and me, we're the real deal. The realest deal. Before we were raiders, we were the real deal. Now, well, heck, no one got it made like us. Um, so with us, we want to attack, attack, attack. So we'll go with old world criminals. Um, to let you know, though... Uh, actually, let's read about gang lifestyle first. Be it killing, maiming, pillaging, road riding, or even simple chem deals. Every gang has a shtick. And us is no different, although obviously we're going to be going much farther than some 2 bit chem pushers. So we have a generic focus tree right now. Now, to get to the setup, because I, I basically blew up the entire Legion. I tried to blow up the NCR, but it didn't work out so well. Uh, but uh, we, technically, this is a generic focus tree. I could have played as a puppet of the Legion. I'm not sure how that would have worked out, but we're going to try it uh, without being a puppet first. And maybe we'll try it again being a puppet, because the Blackfoot tribe does have a unique focus tree, but you might get annexed in the end. I might be wrong about that, though. And you can't really do very much, either. We're not going to stay on the back burner forever. It's time to go beg and simply take what is ours. Weaklings and idiots surround us. Why not simply take what we want? We'll do whatever we want to them. We are raiders and nobody screws with us. And my goal, I think, for this campaign is basically take all the territories away, or take all the territories from the former Legion. What do you mean, what kind? You know who we are, you know what we do, and what we do is best. No one rivals us, and anyone that wants to isn't a beating for a lifetime. Uh, division speed, consumer goods, manpower, we're raiders of kill pillage. Hmm. We're definitely going to be drug runners. Yeah, manpower would be nice, but we don't really need more manpower right now. Proving the heartland. Getting control of more and more territory inside our reach should be definitely less grow faster. Uh, taking over factories and proceeding to a few executions should bring most people in line. You want to know about the future? I'll tell you about our future. Bang, the top, we're going to the top. we got big plans, big freaking plans. The boss knows what's up on, on the up and up, trust me. 20 years from now, we'll rule this freaking wasteland, so are you in? You want a slice of the pie, Scab? Making slaves, good money, good trade, no downside. Same plan as always. We're going to take what we need from whoever. Or mean dudes. They don't, they don't respect us yet. We're violent. We're very violent. Incorporating slavers. Yeah, they come bone some of the boys out with all the wailing and pleading and such, but the slaves are so useful we really can't go without them. You can make them do pretty much anything, and that includes making them think if they'll last more than five seconds on the front line, they'll be free. Slave labor. Organizing. A massive slave recruitment and putting them to work on this construction. Genius. Okay, some of them might lose an arm or two from time to time, but you can't doubt that the brothel got built way faster than usual, so I would like to try this again eventually, but you know, of course, with the normal focus tree, but we'll see. Uh, 37. We have literally no divisions. Um, we can literally only make basic melee weapons. Well, that's not good. Huh. That's very not good. That's why we're doing this one first. Um, for slaver. No need to be smart when you use slaves. Push them hard enough to have them make very good results, but not quite enough to kill or maim them. That takes a certain degree of skill, and with better training for our slave masters, we can make them work on, under the harsh desert sun on roads. And saving scientists. Listen, you, you see those big brains there? Well, yeah, they don't like uh, much. They don't look like much, but maybe, just maybe. They could actually give us a better shooting and such. How about we just make them work for us? Watch them close and see how fast they make explosives when you have a gun pointed at them. New leadership. As soon as shake, up, shake it up in the gang, more and more the boys begin to whisper. Anyone can anyone can tell their air is thick enough to cut it with a knife. Whatever will happen, it'll happen as a bloodbath. I'm starting the flow. We've recently been a bit short on sauce. Everyone knows sauce makes the world go round, but we don't got the caps to get any. A little talk might listen up the caps and dump raiders. We got our hands on something called Super J, and while no one has an idea where it came from, it makes the boys mad as heck. Just pump up full of the stuff unleash on the enemy. Just make sure to wait a while, long while after, for, after, for the withdrawal to kick in, and don't mind the body parts. Uh, we definitely want, want more work output. Uh, construction speed, anything here? Yeah, I'll probably want to get that one too. And we'll probably grab our manpower and refugees. We're gonna go and grab this one too. Um, if we, uh, I want to just find on somebody already, but we literally have no guys. So um, going to war with anybody would be a bad idea. I mean, I wouldn't mind going to war with these guys over here. Dead horses would be too bad, but not until we actually can, you know, have somebody to use. So and deadline clear one building area authority. Cool. Encouraging slavers. It might be pushing a tad too far for some, but more slavers and more caps mean more way more saves using our army. Which is always a good thing, of course. We can always use them for other stuff later. 
cutting the slave trade. We're going to need local boys, no more external assets, no more bad deals. We're going to go into the slave trade and make our own company. Well, quarterly lady reports and boring meetings, which with, with, and with way more cameras. Sealing tools. Uh, apparently some of those slaves actually knew stuff. Stuff like location of still running factories, and entry points, exact moments where everyone would be in the same room so we could throw a grenade. That does sound like a plan. Putting skulls on sticks. You know, you think about scaring people is easy, but now nah, you have to think about it. Instead of just putting random body parts on sticks and spraying crude messages everywhere, our boys have found it far more effective to put a decapitated human skull still having all its skin. Terrorizing the locals. Yay. Sometimes you just have to take care of the simple matters. Threaten some locals, burn down some stuff in the distance, holler at them while firing in the air. That should calm anyone wanting to be a hero. That also certainly relieves some uh, stress on our boys while we wait for the next trade. And Raider HQ. What we need, need is a huge fortress, something that will immediately make the rivals gain power. We'll have huge walls, entire rooms dedicated to weapon production, lots of slaves to build it even bigger and better. It's going to be so, awesome. So, one of the dr downsides of us starting like this with no divisions is that we have no divisions. However, one of the positives of starting with no divisions is that these other nations also don't have any divisions, which I didn't realize at the time. Oh, it makes up for the Phoenix Republic. And now Flagstaff as well. Maybe ten signs. So we're going to go with the uh, Hualapai, Hualapai, by Wauba. Hold against outsiders, which is not very good. River gods, just five world time, so. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully we do well. Um, like I said, they have, like, no divisions, so. We're going straight on in, going to Peach Strings, or Peach, Peach Springs, as fast as possible. Um, we still got to read up through all of these. We're doing dope raiders right now, and we'll start the flow, too. Paying the boys, which would be nice for a way more division organization, but we're probably going to do with the strong stuff. We're coming short up on the books, and this ain't be pleasing for the boys, but we have a solution, boss. If you give them a cheap hooch on the side of the continent, it's cheapest. They won't know if the person's a little tight. Now, it does bring me to believe. Can we take out these guys, too? But a quick update. Um, we did grab this guy for more daily army XP game. We got this guy for more factory output because we are lacking so much right now. I also went with Samuel Wade, just to get more compliance because we're going to have a lot of occupied territories. And we want to pass by there as much as we possibly can with no guns. <clears throat> like, we literally have like, no guns right now, so. I'm um, going to grab that, too. And we do have a fifth research slot, which is weird to say is black, but, you know, the Legion's, you know, precursor. But whatever. <clears throat> yeah, we're making our rounds. Which would be very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Hopefully NCR doesn't want to really kill. Oh, they actually made a division. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Also, these are legionaries, and I have to make sure that they're they're actually 16 combat with, with oh, chemical chem support. That's not bad. Go right there if you can. Also, we have no field commander. Can you do that? And come on, this guy, Adam Beauregard. Uh, get more attack. Might as well. Let's see what you can do. All right, there's a lot of empty territories around here. I hope that would be enough to capitulate them, but you never know. There's that one singular division. I hope they just, they just die. There you go. Nice. Help them out. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, we lost one. One. We've lost none. At least for now, as we're still losing this battle. Which is not good. Now, to keep it with the, the Legion here, I like this one a lot. I love Brute. Raider recruiters, you almost always go. Punishing Raider Mountain sounds like a little more fun for this campaign. Eagle, uh, Nomadicity, Infantry Equipment. I might go with this one because we literally have no Infantry Equipment. Stubborn Dude. Uh, expanding the Gang. Honestly, expanding the Gang is probably better for what for us to do, so... Yeah. <clears throat> Lightning Raids. We're running out before they even know what happened. That's how it goes, boys. We go fast, hard, take their loot and their slaves and their lives. Proving yourself. If you want to lead our boys, you better prove you can. While that generally means you can beat someone to death with his own arm, tactical sound choices is also acceptable, I guess. Bruh. There we go. We got, like, a few guns. Nice. Now we're going to deal with all this extra resistance. Um, this is why I got that extra compliance, too, just in case. Um, so this is going to be spiking. Oh, boy. Because right now we're lacking 1,200 things of that, so. Glory falls. There goes glory. But we need that division out as soon as possible so that we can actually, like, Hold the line. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe five. Five, five, six. Against Flagstaff. So, we're going to need a couple divisions here before we actually go to war. And they're looking kind of beefy. Oh, man. They got some beefy boys. If they weren't beefy, we wouldn't want them. So, go and grab that one. Because we have five research slots. I'm okay with that. As long as we can hold the line, that's all I really care about. But, you know, just see. Also, I wanted to run, the, run with the dogs. But we're going to asymmetric warfare just because I figured that would be probably best to do with the old Legion tactics, ancient tactics, so. Um, you know, 
go to my house. So with that in mind, one, two, okay, so one, two. So Ash Fork looks like it's by itself. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we should have enough to hold the entire front for now. Um, but we'll wait, have to wait and see what actually happens. Uh, drastic measures, I don't like doing that one. This is Gear Factory would be nice, which is why we're taking out Flagstaff next. Help beat them up, so. Generating quality through violence, that's not really going to be an issue for us. Uh, yeah, I'll hope about victory hits. A job well done is a job well done. Sometimes we're picking up some fire And hatches, now everyone, we're, 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 we're taking one or two tiles, and we are struggling. We've lost about a thousand, we've lost about 2,600. Not bad overall, but uh, they keep attacking our lines, which is very good. But we've got quite a few focuses done so far as they are desperately just trying to rail into our lines but slave researchers supplementing our scientists with forcefully recruited engineers should make them work that much faster a result even more cool stuff for us to play with just imagine we can maybe even have a gun that doesn't explode in your face shiny new toys now look at this shiny weapon i have no idea how it works and maybe it doesn't look as flashy as back black powder guns but it punches right through any idiot thinking a bunch of scrap will save them ain't that just swell maybe we'll give the egg, egg some booze a violently kick the generator <coughs> excuse me I have absolutely no idea why the engineers keep saying we need kick stuff. You would think they need some proper care, but they keep talking about percussive maintenance. Alright, then well, I'll just kick it, I guess. Don't stand too close to it after all, though. Especially after I'm done with it. Um, I forgot that using arm XP also, we could do it up here. So, we can use it up here, so. Forgot about that. My bad. As we're trying to core more territory from the Hualapai, but... Fixing terminals. Apparently terminals would really let our exits write down stuff easier and go way faster than the research. So I just give them terminals, so much you can fill an entire room with. I just want a new gun. Keeping logs. Keeping logs of our previous raids and actually reading for a change will let us uh, see where the big screw-up happened. Maybe throwing down a matter around support beams wasn't the best idea, but next time we'll actually know that, perhaps. I hope. Taking the best. Pretty bad stuff right there. It's P65 personal computer, top specs, could always salvage with the central processor, as well as a quantum lock. Why do you look at me like that? Get back to work, idiot. We need to get those back to the eggheads. Um, I can't, we're not doing heavy metal men. Ever since one of the boys saw a, bro a brotherhood soldier running around and not really caring about being shot at, he kept pestering the scientists about it. They want to complete or complain to other raiders, and when they told him why he was bothering them, everyone else joined in on the fun. Because that means we can get tin cans now, territorial loyalties. As we get more and more loot to our troops, we certainly would take a liking to the livestock. Combine that with reminding them what generally happens to raiders caught by actual nations, and that'll make them fight a little harder to keep this kind of life. <coughs> Manifest Destiny. Look around, we're surrounded by morons and they're weak too. They barely have anything on them, so they don't even know how to lift a rifle. So why are we scared of them again? The land, the loot, the cities, they should be ours, and we'll make them ours by force. As we got some radar, as a raider nation, even though we're middle advanced. We never die. I mean, except when we do, but you know what I mean, the gang never dies. I mean, there's just so much pillaging and looting and shooting. How could it ever? We keep getting more boys, we keep getting more recruits, and thus we keep getting more loot. And also, before we keep going on, we have 100% here, but I really want to record it, but we can't. God, I want to record this up, but we can't. God dang it. Guns with legs. Oh, I see this trash can will have guns in his armor. It also doesn't die as easily, so I'll kick it in front of people and what when they round up and we blast their butts. No no I know we should be uh I should have been a technician. Um just trying to fill out everything else we've not done yet, so ooh, what's this one is uh, can we actually start attacking maybe uh, maybe Maybe yes, no, maybe so. They start attacking us there too. I mean no oh we can't do that. Well we'll see. Although we do well here, let's hope. You know, you don't ever want to do poorly. Um, we never die. Dealing chems. Chems, ultimate thing to use in any situation. Just to avoid telling people what type of dung you use in jet. Actually, don't tell them about the dung at all. Stealing from the competition. Okay, so how about instead of building stuff, we just steal them. I mean, we're raiders, it doesn't make sense. Would save us the trouble. Fill the stash. We need more and more stuff to fuel the war machines. Water for this boy. Scrap for the factories to get to it. Keep thinking about that shiny new APC you want, and you'll work even harder. <coughs> Sorry, I apologize about my voice. Oh my goodness. But having five research slots is so flippin' nice, it's not even funny. More organization? Yes. More army XP gain? Sure, why not? Uh, this guy is now level 6. He's becoming an urban assault specialist, which is very cool as well. Uh, it's a quite a bit ahead of time to do that one there. Not, eh, we got one right here we can do this ball. Oh, we're starting to fail now. That is not ideal. Uh, here. You guys go here. Yeah, and once they start uh, stopping... Uh, oh, actually, no. You guys go right there. Stop it. Oh, you guys go right there. See what you can do. Give me the most tired ones. Um, I'm still waiting just to core this. I'm literally just waiting to core. Let him attack us. That's fine. Uh, Adam Beauregard is doing okay as well. For now. And right here. What do they have? No manpower. Good to see. Gonna get some more manpower too for us. It's nice. Very nice. What happened to our divisions right there? Weird, but okay. 
I'm just shifting in soldiers, shifting them out. Um, let's see, we still don't have enough military factories at all. As you can see, we're trying to get some uh, anti tank and whatnot. Actually, we might be stealing anti tank from these guys. Hey, we actually got it! Finally, thank God. Jesus Christ, that took forever. Yeah, doing this whole war thing is uh, not easy. Let's do 2,000 manpower. Oh. Oh, we need to. Uh... Oh, it looks pretty good, so check out the loyalties. Okay. Stealing chems? Sure, why not? Bro, I just want to core these tiles. Why is it not going down? You know what? Create an agency, I'll lower resistance that way too. <clears throat> but this is pretty much where we're at right now. Which sucks. <coughs> oh wow. That is some drop in organization very quickly. A few scrap shacks, very nice. Oh, two at a time. Believe it. Good. We only get 1.17 political fire every day, which is not enough, but whatever. We're hopefully doing a crap ton of casualties. Hopefully. We still have quite a few divisions, and the manpower they're probably replacing a lot of the manpower that they've lost already by raising their conscription level. Most of blueprints. Uh, oh, we've not done victory hits yet, huh? Okay, so it seems like we missed some stuff on the last run. Sounds like an uh, entire pile of blueprints and advanced technical documents. Don't ask me, they only talked about tools back then. Anyway, let's go back. And saving hub. Maybe we should give our slaves actual buildings. What's certainly improved more out free ball the spaces that our amps are called camps occupy. Hey, we got it, nice. I'm not sure we're actually gonna use that, but we'll see. Uh, it's two years ahead of time, it's not good. We're still working on that. Scrap robots. Don't really need that either. Uh, planes? Sure. The cabal. Anti partisan stuff. That would be delightful. If you guys accept, go in here. See what you can do. Keeping constant pressure on them is always very nice to do as well. And so we'll do this one too. More better recovery rate? Yes, please. Strong right flank. 15% more breakthroughs, is nothing to laugh at. And more max speed. This gives you even more max entrenchment speed and more soft attack and hard attack. Actually, what's the rest of the wasteland? Oh! Wow, this is disgusting. They became a puppet of the NCR. Interesting. The Eastern Legion, huh? Our lines are looking pretty thick. Oh, Kaiser's Legion. Oh, they broke away from Kaiser's Legion. Navajo and Hente del Sol are now in Kaiser's Legion. Okay, well, that's interesting. Let's slowly get through there. It's slowly starting to go down, hopefully. Ah, there we go. Slowly just taking Flagstaff. Once you take Flagstaff, I mean, these guys have been building up a little crap on soldiers, too. And we've not been able to, so. But once we take this and start actually coring territories, that's the most important thing. Irrigation's nice. Um, a little bit ahead of time, we'll go right there. Still attacking. Okay, so now we're putting ourselves a little bit in a pickle, because it's going to be very hard to break into anywhere now. The Parsons is nice, good. Jubal Johnson. Or Jubi Johnson. There you go. Now I should start dropping even more, right? The rest of your lifetime, Santa Ana. Um, six divisions is better than four, so we'll go here, maybe. Now they are attacking us too, which is good to see. Jubi? Jubal? Juba? Jubidaya? No, you're not leaving. You're not. What? Well, we've been embargoed. Why? Oh man, they're doing force defense. Oh my god, the common market, very nice, very nice. You know, we have quite a bit of political power here stored up. It's not going to be enough. It's really not. Oh, hello. Um, we got attack and infantry over here. Max unit leader size, max planning. Um, I kind of want to go with group size, but we're going to go with recovery rate. Recover as fast as you can. <clears throat> Metro standing bonuses. <coughs> uh, where is he? He's not even a third of the way there. He's an urban assault specialist too, which is very nice. CQC training. Still a little bit too ahead of time. Uh, a little bit ahead of time. We'll grab that too. Why not? Doesn't help that they do have radar over there too. Um, can we core this yet? God dang it. Come on. Less than 20. It's got to be less than 20. How's this one looking? Oh, this is... Uh, this one's still better to do. Any partisan? Nice. Watch out for spies. Oh, we're so close. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. 
Just come on. It's not going down. Are you kidding me, bro? Bro. It went back up. Are you kidding me? It's going back up. Are you kidding me, bro? Bro, sit. Daddy, bro. Actually, are you raising conscription level? No, I don't know. Let's see. Stockpile. They have a few things here still. Damage him on all sides, my god, come on. Doesn't help with our slow stability, I guess, too. Actually. Energy cells, no. The yeah, so limit competition's nice. Blueprints. Oh, this is our hurts our HP and health and whatnot. Maybe we can raise our stability, we can up lower that too. I do want to do Punishing Raider, but I like Raider Recruiter still. I mean, that's always good to get. It's always worthwhile getting. Backyard workshops are good. Resources we could if we really need to. Do we planes? No. That'd be nice though, if we did have planes. But we just don't have, can't make any. Oh, I think we might be able to get in there. Might be actually be able to get there, come on. Super close. And we've got it. Okay, so that took forever. It's fine, whatever. Back up 21. Are you flipping kidding me, bro? Right, so now, I know this is taking a while to do, but uh, you know, should the next episode should be much more smooth going. So next we'll go here, but let's get our guys some organization first. And we'll take them out as well. As they're attacking us too. So through the slogging, we finally reached it, so we can finally siege down good old Flagstaff. Never been. I'd like to go someday. Maybe not when it's under siege, but our guy definitely has more experience than this guy. Uh, but after this war, we have 13 divisions. How many divisions does the Phoenix Republic have? 2,000 manpower. Oh my God. Um, 13 divisions. That'd be pretty tough to fight as well. Navajo would be very tough to fight. These guys would be. Everyone's gonna be very tough to fight. Um, actually, how about Twisted Hairs? Oh, they actually might be next. They actually might be next. I guess we have to wait and see. But as you can see from a political power, we have greatly lost a lot of political power here. Um, you're going to force the attack uh, here. So Because once their organization completely drops to zero, they can't do anything else, which is very nice. Uh, guns with legs, yeah. Flamethrower is nice. The good stuff. I have no idea what the good stuff is, but engineers saying we need to make it more trash cans, so I guess we'll take it too. Never did that before, but then again, we never had mobile trash can compactors blasting people with SMGs and crappy robots. See all that fancy stuff there? Why do we even need it? It just keeps slowing down production anyways. I don't know what the gyro is or what keeps the robots from entering a catastrophic nuclear event, that even means, but I'm sure we can pass it on. More guns. More guns, more guns, more guns. Cool. Going to war. Lovick. Vernash, Vernash. Three divisions left, sends all special forces. Beautiful. Um, and we're probably going to go with a deal you can't refuse. Our gracious friends have been uh, a bit conservative with the donations. So I think we go and give them a nice meal. We can make them an extra offer that helps them and us, but us a little extra. Control the trade. Art of the sack. Oh. Finally, that only took me like literally an hour to do. Um, hmm. It's not bad. We're probably art of the sack. Despite the pillage and destruction, generally unlike kindly and friendly rowdy behavior, second to not sound is an art. What are the Picasso drugs and caps? Flash here, lying there, execution in the corner. Uh, the raid adventure bellies up, at least we're artists. But I think I'll end it there because I've spent enough time in this episode, and tomorrow we'll definitely hopefully be able to push far harder, faster, better, all over the former Legion territories. Thanks for watching. Have a great Blackfoot rest of your day.